Hello, hello, Gala community. Welcome to the Echoes of Empire launch date. And for those of you who do not know, Echoes of Empire is an epic 4X sci-fi strategy game steeped in mystery, intrigued, and a thousand years of royal rule. Factions warring against one another on a galactic scale, <clears throat> setting the stage for an upstart hero, which is you, and your meteoric ascent to power. So come check it out. We got about uh, 30 minutes on the global launch and today with me here i have tiny hello everybody and you know what i'm gonna say don't forget to like and subscribe that's it that's it she's got it yep. <laughs> and of course as always we have good paul all right take us there good paul let's see the game oh <laughs> Hey, there it is. Okay, so we wanted this to be as much of a first experience as possible, so I have not seen the game yet. This is the first time I'm playing it. This is the first time Tiny has seen it. And same goes for Paul, so we're going to be exploring it together with you. This is a first-hand experience, White might say. So let's see. We just logged into the game. This is the first window that, um, that we see. We do have a pop-up. Uh, collect from Vapor Extractor. The station has everything you need to expand your influence in the galaxy. Most importantly, it comes equipped with extractors that provide you with the resources required to construct your ships and improve the base. Uh, there are three types of resources you will need to construct your base and craft ships. Vapor, Composite, and Ore. Each of these are used to some degree in all crafting, but some actions may take more of one type of resource than other. For example, constructing ships designed by the royals take more composite than ore or vapor. So pretty standard so far. Uh, it's generally advisable to try and accumulate an equal mix of all three, unless you have a specific strategy that calls for more of one type. For now, let's start by collecting resources from all three of your extractors. So like the highlighted building. Uh, I'm getting some feedback. I'm not sure if it's me, Paul. Oh, thank you, Paul. All right. Okay, so we collected one of the 100 of each. The ore extractor. Uh, now that you have stockpiled resources, time to put them to use. You can command fleets of, power sh <clears throat> of powerful ships, which can acquire even more resources, attack your enemies, and protect this station. But first, you'll need to build them. That's fair enough. Capital ships are the backbone of your force. Uh, they can be sent out on missions and equipped with support ships to be made even stronger. All right. Royal Foundry. Uh, let's skip it. Your station has space for three foundries, one of each of the Empire's major factions. Later, you can build the other two. Even more rewards, all the goodies. Not that your foundry is online, you can use it to craft capital ships. Capital ships, crafting capital ships requires two things resources and blueprints. Craft Archivist. I don't actually take time. Higher quality ships. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you can wait or use credits. Here, let's just skip it. Are these tutorials the best, though? Say that again? <laughs> when you go through the tutorial, you just want to skip everything and get to playing. Yeah, pretty much. And um, I'm still getting some feedback. Okay, let's see. Support and small ships. Uh, like I thought support ships are crafted. Complete. Clipper. So 
So do you get to go inside the spaceship? Um, I'm having trouble hearing what you say because of the feedback here. Oh, I think it's gone. Say that again, Tiny. So do you get to go into the spaceship? I don't know yet, but we'll figure that out. Uh, capital and support ships are all specialized for harvesting resources, engaging in combat, or carrying cargo. Next, you'll send those new ships out as a fleet to harvest resources from a nearby celestial object. Let's claim the clipper. Let's see the galaxy. The tactical map. Here you can explore the galaxy, deploy fleets, harvest resources, and scout rival fleets and stations. As long as you're in the house space squadron, you cannot engage in combat and cannot collect stardust from your harvesting actions. You'll you'll live here before long, but for now, it's a good place to harvest resources so you can keep building. When you have capital ship, you can assign it to a fleet and deploy it to harvest resources for your stations and the fleet. Okay. So this is us. I'm guessing these are the claims. These look common to me. This is epic. Ooh, what's the big yellow one? Oh, what do you think? Fun. <laughs> yeah. Can we harvest from here? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send it. Send it. All, all the clippers. Okay. Like more free stuff. First deployment. Oh, I trained my crew well. Great. Home base. What's going on back home? How do you like 4X games, Tiny? I don't think I've played a 4X game before. I'm not sure. Really? I'm so... not really good at games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair, I guess. <laughs> I mean, like, you've seen me in Last Expedition. I run staring at the floor, so... <laughs> well, that's different. That's, uh, that's a different kind of experience. Your starter blueprints will never expire, but ships built from them are not the strongest. Okay, you can upgrade them. Upgrade the blueprints. Higher quality blueprints are very specialized and cannot be reused once you craft a ship with them. Upgrading blueprints can be difficult but it will always get you stronger ships. More free stuff. Give me all the free stuff. Thank you very much. Let's see. What do we want here, Tiny? We have an archivist. Do we want a geologist or a specialist? What do they do? Well, let's see. Geologist is a hardy harvesting vessel used to gather and transport resources. And specialist... Uh, the specialist... All right. I am... I think you need resources before you have a specialist. No? Well, yeah, that's fair. I thought the other one looked a little cooler. How do you like the theme? I Only like it your... so far. I really want to see what's inside this dome-looking spaceship right here. It looks like... It looks, it looks like, like a... Yeah, it looks like right? a city in there, right? Right? That's why I asked if we can go inside. <laughs> yeah, let's build more stuff. So, what else can they build? You gotta build your spaceship? Is this what we're doing? Uh, yeah, this is like the home base where you assemble ships to send them. Just finished construction. This is the shipyard. It's capable of restoring fleets to full health. And salvaging and use ships for valuable resources. Nice. Uh, we do recycling here. We are very environmental and environment conscious. Right, let's build a specialist while we're at it. That's good. I mean, Common Ground World has dirt, so we have recyclable spaceship air. Yep. Spaceship parts? Yeah, that sounds about right. What's in the purple one? Can you harvest from all of these planet-looking things? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this one's fancy. Yeah. Ooh, it has a swirl in it. Yeah. This one, too. Oh, they all swirl. Blue, purple. I like this color. 
pink mer- mauve. I think that's mauve burgundy. I don't know. Mauve. Oh, I think I found another player. Can you attack him? Oh, that's not a player. Never mind. Are there other players here? No, it doesn't look like it. That's me. Even more free stuff. We need to build a garrison foundry. Mm-hmm. Murphy Gray even says, I wish you can go inside of these things. I'm not oh, the only one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm all for it. Smile and Monster said gaming EPX is 4X. I guess I I play 4X games. I didn't know they were called 4X games. <laughs> I thought they were games. <laughs> oh, you can assign ships to repair. Interesting. What happened? Oh, it's deployed. Okay, okay. I thought I thought it somehow got destroyed. But I think we just got something. Oh, it's on the way back. Nice. Okay. We're good. We're good. Everything is under control. <laughs> Sending out spaceships that you don't know about? Yeah. They're managing, though. They said they trained them well. <laughs> Let's get more troopers. Send the fleet to an epic. Aurora's Edge. Okay, just keep sending them. I get it. I'm for it. I'm with it. Another garrison workshop? Oh, I just need to accept it. More foundries. Okay, Tiny, where are we sending this one? Let's go to the mauve looking planet. This one. Are they planets? Are they planets or what are they? Orbs? Look like what do we call they? these? Celestials? They are technically celestial bodies. This one's coming back. Oh, all of them are coming back. I only have one apparently. Hang on. This isn't right. We need more ships. Oh, what's an orca? Oh, it's a support ship, right? That can yeah, support yeah, yeah, yeah. help you too. They should all be able to do something. Research lab. Oh, there's a ship coming back behind you. The little one. It's coming. Can you see it? This one? It's flying. They're flying. Oh, one right yeah. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where was I? Oh, research lab. This looks like a better archivist, and I'm definitely rushing it. Oh, that was a better blueprint. That's kind of cool. Well, let's get an orca going. And the clipper. All the help. What does this do? Mm -hmm. Use the foundries to build capital ships and flagships. There is the workshop. Okay, now we're sending it. Okay, it's on the way. A 
legendary object in Aurora's Edge. Are we currently on Aurora's Edge? No, it's over there. Oh, this is spooky Ooh, there. What's that? Yeah, look. Hey, Garrison. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. People already claimed a bunch of stuff. Oh, I see Kate. Okay, so can we move? I don't know if I want to move yet. I bet they're mean. And they'll just attack you? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Zoom right. in on the orange one. On the orange one? Hang on. This one? Oh, it's like, um, Ooh. Uh, how, I forgot the name of the device. Uh, it's like a Dyson sphere slash disc slash thing. Like a Dyson, like your vacuum cleaner Dyson. Uh, so the Dyson sphere is a concept. Um, essentially it's a, it's a structure that would go around the sun and it would be able to capture sun's energy more efficiently than with like whatever it is we do right now Ooh. and theoretically from what i understand this is the first step to like intergalactic travel so you you must have a dyson sphere before you're able able to travel to other 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 galaxies efficiently okay all right what were we doing <laughs> we were just explore. I was just watching you explore. Oh, I can't harvest from these, you guys. Come on. Is this still Aurora's is it Edge? Too far? Yeah, that is Aurora's Edge. Let's see if I can find. I need a legendary. Oh, I can't harvest. I guess we're too far off. Oh, that's fair. Where's home? Here it is. Oh, so what's we're that harvesting thing? here. Which one? This oh, one? No, that, that's us. Never mind. Yeah, that's us, I think. I don't know what this is, but let's harvest from here. Oh. It's like an asteroid. Not available. Also not available. I'm doing something wrong. Oh, there are settings here. Lovely. Uh, new building, new building. Oh, I've been collecting blueprints, not actual ships. That makes sense. Oh. What's that thing? The anvil of gravity. I don't know, but it looks fancy. There are like three tiny planets or moons in there. Cool. What does it say? That what is it? The Anvil of Gravity. Fancy. Can you harvest anything from it? No, they won't let me. I think we're still too far. Let's go back home. All of these cool things are not near us. I'd be exploring <laughs> the map and just zooming in and out of these random... So, celestials? Yep. Uh, Murphy Gray said the Gala Collective Ancient was set up yesterday by Timbo. Good for Timbo. Um, Murphy, I'll check what the download size is right now. It's about 1.9 gigs. <clears throat> Okay, back to this. Spaceships, not blueprints. Yes, give me all the free stuff. What are we building next? Command Center 2. Upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade. Okay, while that's doing that, let's build more ships. This one's fancy. Look, it's, it has a golden logo next to it. Let's build that one next. Doing that right now. And I think we need more clippers because they only take clippers with them. K 
Can I make more than one? Or just one for now? Okay. Upgrade? Do upgrade? More resources? Say that again? Do you need more resources? Uh, I have a plenty of resources, but I think until I upgrade it, I can only make one at a time, which is fine, I guess. Can you get another builder? That's a good question. Here, um... So you have to reach a certain level until you get a second one. Upgrade. Mm -hmm. It doesn't give me the option, but you're right, there's just one builder for now. Here, let's skip this, because... I don't have all day. Come on. <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, it's all sparkly now. Yeah. Upgraded. Pensy. Yeah, it's uh, they're like fading away. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Wow. Do you see okay, that? Okay. Yeah, we figured <laughs> it out. <laughs> More blueprints. Or extractor. Or, or extractor, or extractor upgrade. More clippers. Is clippers an NBA team, or am I missing something? I wish I could tell you how to play, but my good my guess is as good as yours. Alright, that's fair. Okay, this is done. More free Just stuff. Click a bunch of stuff. I'm all for it. As long as they're given free stuff, I'll click it. Oh, see? There it is. More stuff. Uh vapor extractor. Oh, and there's four or oh there's two of pop so okay i see oh there are extractors and vaults okay that makes more sense are we still harvesting i don't think so i don't see any dots all right harvest it again then and you can have three clippers this time. There you go. Next up. Upgrade. All right, we have a fancy archivist now. Let's not worry about specialists for now. Claim. Yeah, I'll just make a bunch of these and we're going to go harvest a, um, a legendary one in proximity. <clears throat> Is that the only legendary here? Yeah. Harvest. What? Come on. Pretty please? Oh, it's stationed. Whoops. Pretty please. <laughs> oh. oh, I didn't get to see it. Hang on. Oh, a sniper. 
This formidable garrison warship is used as a vanguard in combat missions, dealing damage with its pulse cannons and weathering onslaughts with ultra dense armor. Now, Orvalt. Oh, they do change in appearance. Look, this one is bigger than this one because this one's level one. Yeah, they get all like sparkly and the sparkly goes away and then it changes the design. Yep. Like the back end. Yeah, all for it. It's kind of fancy. I really like it. Let's clear this. Claim. All right, let's make a specialist. Whoops. Oh, yep, we just launched. Global launch is <clears throat> is right now, so you can go and get the game downloaded. Uh, make sure you update your game launcher first, and if you have any trouble, it is probably your ad blocker or the Brave Shield. Make sure to turn that off for the website. <clears throat> you don't get any ads on there anyway. And um, once you do that, you'll be able to download the game no problem. Royal Foundry. That's up here. No, that's not here. It's here. Orca. Oh, I can upgrade too. We're still out here. We probably need to upgrade. Yeah, we probably need to upgrade before we're able to send out multiple ships at a time. That makes sense. Royal Workshop, upgrade. Oh, there are different PFPs. Unlock via NFT, interesting. Here, let me see something in my inventory. Maybe I can get it unlocked. Because I'm pretty sure I have that one. I don't want to cover this really quick. I'll be right back. Let me just get the 2 of in here. And this is your reminder to make sure you <clears throat> you have 2FA up on everything at all times. It is a little more work to get stuff done, but it is important to have it. Oh, 
Oh, there are different skins for the for the home bases. I like this guy. Okay, real workshop is done. More free stuff. Lab to tier two. This is the lab. Oh, I'm stupid. I've been researching. <laughs> I've been researching ships, and I'm like, why I'm not getting them? Because <laughs> I've been just researching them, not building them. Okay. <clears throat> Cutter, Galleon. Oh, I have Clipper too now. Lovely. Oh, whoops. Thank you, good Paul. We are back. I'm back. Oh, there are different languages here. Shipyard. Scrap? Oh, I can scrap my own ships. Okay, let's not do that yet. No, we need more ships, not scrap them. Garrison Foundry. Oh no, here... This is where we build the cool ships. Crypto Wave, it's not loading for you? What's going on? Did you restart your computer? Yeah, uh, Crypto Wave, if you go into more details what the issue is, we might be able to troubleshoot it here with you. Okay, Tiny. I can build this ship, and it's going to cost me almost everything I have. Should I do it, or should I go for a cheaper one? No, go for a cheaper one. You don't want to... Actually, it's not that much cheaper. Okay, well, then build it. How much... Okay. I can't see the numbers. It's blurry for me. It's uh, 6,700... Of each, and they have seven, eight, and nine thousand. So may as well. Go well you need it, right? Just do it. I will get it more. We'll get more of those. That's fine. We'll just have to wait a little longer for the resources to gather. Garrison workshop. Here it is. Claim this. Yeah, Crystal Wave. Can you tell us more of what's going on so we can try and help you here? If not, you can always try going on our Discord, galagames.chat. See if anyone else in there, in our Discord, has any issues. Garrison tier 2 is almost done. Really got to keep an eye on the resources now. <laughs> big spender here. Yeah, you got to go big or go home. <laughs> and this is a good looking ship. And it's going here. See? Okay, I, I got a grip. Okay, I was um, I was researching ships, not building them. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, let's build more. I can't afford to build anything. That's okay. <laughs> 
That is probably fair. Uh, Arbiter Foundry. Here it is. Skip it. Skip it. Arbiter Workshop to Tier 2. Here we go, command center. Oh, so we have three fleets now. We can have four at the next level. We get more health, more protected stardust in case we get raided and more health regen. Here, may as well rush it. Yeah, Paul will reimburse me for all these credits anyway. Right, Paul? You can't hear it, but he said yes, of course. Other. Use a teleporter. Teleporters can move your home base, but you can't leave your fleets stranded in space. Once all your deployed fleets have returned, use teleport in your estab oh, use your teleport in your in your inventory to establish yourself a new region of the galaxy. Cool, cool, cool. Where where are my ships? Fleets, sorry. Okay, so one is stationed and the other one is harvesting. You get different things from each celestial or the same? Yeah, so I, I'm guessing depending on the Celestial, this one is legend, legendary, I think. And this one has both, I mean, not both, it has all um, ore, vapor, and composite. But this one down here only has vapor. See, just three. What are vapor. the other two? Let's see. Composite, more vapor. Let's see these smaller ones. Vapor. Vapor or composite, sorry. Oh, this one has ore. Okay, so they're probably randomized. Okay, while we're waiting for them to come back. Come on, come on. Extractor to boost, Vapor Extractor Tier 3. Okay, so we have to start with Vapor. Or Extractor Tier 3. So we have to start with Ore. Thank you very much. I have a question from CryptoView. Do the skins for the ship give you any extra perks? Uh, do this game what? Do the skins for the ships give you any extra perks? I do not know just yet, but I would I would assume that's the case. Oh, check this out. My NFT uh, just got picked up by the game. I'm mm. not seeing any statistical bonuses on these, but I was I would assume that's the case. It's fairly typical for Forex games to do that. Look at him. Looks just like me. I just need a fancy hat, too. I think you need to get one. I think you need to contact Anita to get uh, merch. <laughs> this is the first and only thing that's going to the merch store. Go buy it. <laughs> <laughs> the Echoes of Empire hat. What do you guys think? I'd be down for it. Um, I want even more resources. Upgrade. Okay, so you should let them like have a close-up view of your fancy um, glasses what? there. Glasses? Oh, mm -hmm. these glasses? Here, I'll, I'll take them off. Can, can you show them the logo? Yeah, I can. Here. I'm not sure how visible that is. Oh, it's not. It's not oh, there you Hang go. On. Hang on. 
Yeah, I see that. That's a gala logo. Uh, come on. Oh, there yeah. it is. Oh, there you go. Yep. Ripping gallon. Go, gal, go. Okay, where were we at? Waiting for resources to build more. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I just got a word from the PM for this game, and he said that if you guys have any questions, you can drop them in the chat here, and then we will be able to take them to the devs and get them answered for you. So if you do have any questions, um, make sure to drop them in the chat, and we'll pick them up and pack them into like a spreadsheet. Uh, 333, we needed a new command center. And we need Arbiter Workshop Tier 3. Arbiter Workshop. Here it is. Claim this. Arbiter Foundry. Royal Foundry. Arbiter Foundry. Let me see the Geologist. Garrison Workshop. Shipyard. Research Lab. Oops. Royal Workshop. Really getting the run around here. Composite Vault Tier 3. Okay, now we just need the vaults. That okay. Upgrade. Core Vault. Vapor Vault. Come on, I need I need all all the resources. Preferably like right now. It would be nice to be able to get um, to get more workers. So this is typically the first thing I look for in a Forex game. How's the fleet doing? It's always We're my first there. purchase is an, a second builder. Yep. So this builder is going to take a minute. I wonder if there's a way to speed it up. Oh, and that's the good ship. Can I pull it back? Okay, looks like we're waiting 40 minutes. Okay, let me check in on this. Shipyard, lab, okay, let's see. Okay, let me see. Uh, Murphy Gray wants more info about the guild system coming. Okay, I'm just going to write this down here. And I'm sure there will be uh, like a bigger uh, article coming out specifically about that. That is a big system that does need uh, to be explained. And I'm sure there's a plenty of details. I look, Murphy got into the game... Um, 
Yeah, Crypto Wave, if you're still having issues, let me know. And, okay, let's see who we can find here. Whoop. Ember's Grace, the Pale. Oh, this is... Okay, Gala Collective is here as well. Is he cool with... Forestella? What is that? I don't know. This one looks even cooler than that other one. Yeah. This one looks like there's Saturn in the middle. Yeah, like a blue Saturn. This is called Cosmic Array. Yeah, I'm sure there are more of these, actually. Um, zoom in a little. This one's white. That one was also white. I'm guessing there is one per, per like, system. Yeah, this one we've seen already. Okay, take me out, take me out. This. Oh, look at that. Whoa, this one looks like the world. Oh, can I, can I spin it? bad so like a part of it is covered and it, it is like a sun the gallows of time Ooh. that's like a two-piece celestial yeah, yeah this is sort of like what i was talking about with dyson spheres like the idea is to cover a portion of it in order to gather energy while not like choking out earth of sunlight and there's one more we can look at. Oh, is that ice? Wow. Oh, it's like a D20. <laughs> this one looks like an engagement ring. <laughs> uh, Paul said it's an isohedron, not a D20. Thank you, Paul. It does kind of look like an engagement ring, you're right. Oh, I really like the color in this one. That one's cool. What do these things do? What do they do? Does it tell you when you click on them? Uh, I can harvest from them <laughs> and attack them. <laughs> but what do you harvest? But you're too far to harvest from them. Yeah, I'm way too far. And we can't pour it out for another 35 minutes because I sent the ship to where I was not supposed to send it. All right. No more waiting. Come back what? so we can move to cooler things. Shipyard, shipyard. Hang it, need a lab. Garrison oh, Workshop. You know what? While we're waiting for that one to come back. I'm going to send out another ship. I'll just make sure it doesn't take forever. Because now I need more ore. Geologist. Send. All right, thank you. 
two minutes. Not sure why this one's taking so long. I really hope it's gathering like the entirety of this planet <laughs> to bring to home base. <laughs> Okay, where did we stop? <laughs> Arbiter. Upgrade. Skip. Complete. Okay, we are now officially broke. We have indeed gone too far. Now we gotta wait. That's alright, we can hang out. Here, I wanna start at the back end and look at planets. Oh, this one's like gold. I don't know why, but the blue look one's at like that the one. best. The blue one looks so cool. Right? Yeah. It's like electricity, kind of like a blue fire. Yeah. Blue plasma. All right, Paul, I hope you're watching because I want this one. Yo, I can harvest from here. How long is it going to take? Hang on. It's going to take four hours. <laughs> Never mind, I can't. So this is the like the, the quadrant we're in, and we can harvest anywhere in the quadrant. And then you can hop between quadrants as well to do other things. Visit the cluster. Okay, let's close this. Garrison, last light. Oh, look at last light. One, two, three, four, five, six, six claims. I see a Spira, Garrison. Actually, Garrison is going nuts. I didn't notice. I only saw one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then he was like, I don't want this little one. You can keep it. <laughs> Sith. Let's see if we can find somebody else we know. Can you zoom in on our spaceships? Yeah, I can. Hang on. Last light. Can I see it? Can I inspect it? No, that's a no. I can attack it. I was going to say, I'm like, can you attack it? <laughs> Um, how about we find somebody uh we can't fight here, never mind. Unless Oh look at that. Oh man, they can't attack him. <laughs> okay, how broke are we tiny? Pretty, pretty broke. broke. You spent money all on a spaceship. Yeah, and now it's like clogging up the progress. <laughs> it's a little typical of how I play you these did games. Too much research. This is typical, typical of you. <laughs> Alright, we can still build things. We're good. Two, three, 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 three. We just need another spaceship. Well, what we need is a command center, but we can't afford it. <laughs> All because you really wanted that ship. Now, I admit, it's a great looking ship, but... <laughs> is that the ship? Yeah, I think so. Look at it. Well, there's something cool. about... There's something about vertical ships. They, they just look so much more epic than the regular ships. Than the horizontal ships like this one, because yeah, you look, because you look, yeah, you look at uh, at it at the 
at the archivist and you know there's aliens in it and this one it's like dwarfs or something gathering like minerals on moons dwarves did you say dwarves yes i did Oh, thank you, good Paul. All right. I just got good news from a developer, actually, and Paul related. You can rotate the map with Q&E, and we're going to go look at, at this thing again. Come on. Here it is. Let me just get a little closer. Oh, this is so much better, actually. Uh, which one was we were looking at that had like a half sphere thing? I think it's was this one. No, this one is four four suns. Oh, someone just appeared. Look at this coward! They have a shield on. Okay, I've been here. That's not it. I think it's at the top left. Yeah, it's always the last place I check. <laughs> Here it is. I gotta take my glasses up a bit. Oh, I didn't know this. It has a moon on the side. That's cool. I think this one's my favorite one to look at. I like this one the most, I think. Hang on. The blue one? Yeah, the, the blue one. Part? Yeah, the blue one is over here. Nope, it's not here. Why is it always last place I check? <laughs> well said because <laughs> I stopped fun. looking. Yeah, fair enough. Because it's like... um. It's like a black hole, sort of. Though I don't think you'd be able to put stuff around the black hole. Well, can you get uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson on the line so I can ask him about black holes? Thank you. Can they make these things? So I can just have a little mini celestial on my desk. Make him as in like models? Yeah. Can yeah, you imagine but... that on your desk? That'd be cool. Oh, I would love that. With the glow and everything and the black hole. Yeah, just one more idea for the merch store. Have you seen, now that we speak of it, there are these spheres and they make uh, globes like that. Uh, I have no idea how they make them. But essentially, it's a glass globe, and inside of it, whatever is inside of it, typically like a planet or, again, a globe, it it moves around independently of the glass around it. So it's sort of like a planet that spins on its own when it just rests. That would be really cool if you could have a claim on, on like, a star, and then you can go and get one ordered for, for your desk to just sit and look at it. These are some... Really good ideas for the merch store. Yeah, write that down. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 24 minutes. We may as well um, gather more resources. Let me see. We need this stuff. And that is composite. That's right. Geologist, mining rate 450, 450, 810, 450. Oh, this one's, oh, but it's slower, but it has more storage capacity. All right, all the clippers, everything, all the diggers, all the orcas. Did you know that orcas, so orcas are very smart. And if you are, if you work with orcas and you train them for like shows and stuff, 
like all the terrible things they do to wild animals at um, like Sea World. With orcas specifically, um, the way you train them, you're not supposed to let them know that you're training them. You're supposed to pretend that they are training you and it's like a game because the second they realize that you're getting one over on them they will kill you <laughs> what? yeah and like uh and sometimes they'll just mess with you like with the trainer they grab him and then they drag him all the way to the bottom of the tank and they'll just keep him there for a bit and then they, they would let you go that's like a thing they're super smart i don't think i want to be an orca trainer <laughs> like... no no it doesn't sound very good gotta be honest with you not my not my thing too fishy also too dangerous the fact that you can just like you know hey you're trying to train me i want to i want to pull you down to the tank yeah you're you're dying today yeah okay i'm sending another ship total duration six minutes send it i believe that sea animals are the truest aliens of earth we're on their planet uh, you're right. There is um, there was a group of people studying um, octopi, and like their their idea is that they landed on the planet in like a meteorite or something, because they're so extraterrestrial and weird. Just the way they move, the way they eat, the tentacles, all of it like doesn't make sense for like they they're just so far out there in comparison to all other life on Earth. And there's also that one octopus that was predicting um, scores for soccer games. He, he was pretty good. I think he had like a standing record. Do we have three out or just two? Can I send another one? Oh, we have three out. Oh, I can definitely do that. Thank you, Paul. Uh, so as of now, unless something changes, we will have a developer on the head of the game to talk about um, <clears throat> to talk about Echoes of Empire. So you will have the opportunity uh, to hang out and maybe ask questions. But if you do have questions right now, make sure to drop them in the chat and we will grab them. We'll put them in the dock and send them over to the devs and hit factor will take a look and answer what they can okay tiny i need you to do something to get the ship back faster this fleet i think you can hit the skip button and accelerate but i think you used them all up oh, i have a plenty paul said he'd buy more see i just just no 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 option to skip here. That's something you need to ask the devs for. Yeah, we'll figure it out eventually. I do want to get my hands on a different home base. Oh, maybe there are rewards for like big events. That would make sense. That would also mean I'm not I'm never getting one because I'm never winning a big event. <laughs> but it would be nice. <laughs> Okay, for all of these, I'm guessing we need, yeah, we need tier four. And for that, we need the shipyard. We're almost there. I think one of the ships returned and brought stuff. Oh, yes, no, maybe? No, not yet, not yet. Yeah, they're just hanging. Recall your fleets to use a teleport. So there is a way to recall my my fleets. Is it here? Yeah, 
Okay, I see. Thank you. Thank you, good Paul. Thank you, uh, good devs. Just got a word that the recall function is being worked on because I'm not the only person who screwed myself in the first 30 minutes of playing the game, but um, they're working on it, which is a good thing. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, devs. All right, so for all of you, all 26 of you watching right now, do not send your ship on a 40-minute mission because you will have to teleport for your quest. Uh, Taco Horse asked what kind of game this is. This is a 4X strategy game. Uh, hang on. Uh, it's a so Echoes of Empire is an epic 4x sci-fi strategy, and you get all of all of the elements of um, factions at war, and uh, you can do stuff like owning your own planets, potentially galaxies, depending on how well you do. Okay. Oh, look, we gathered 1100 vapor and eight, 810. Oh, uh, 1100 composite and 810 vapor. All right, we're no longer broke. We're only a little bit broke. Oh, you can buy more more stuff. All right, hang on. <laughs> um, let me crack open the store. Give me a second. And I am going to block my camera one more time while I look at my 2FA. This is another reminder to set up your 2FA if you don't have it yet. <clears throat> Okay, everything, I think everything just fulfilled. Yes, it did. I have my credits. Alright, Tiny, we're in this. We have a million ore now. So we can speed up everything? Uh, yes. Okay, let me see. So does that mean you can buy 10 more spaceships? You're right, but I do need to save up just a little to get to the next, uh, what's the name of it? Command Center. 
Yeah, I'm still missing composite and vapor. But let's send more ships out. Harvest. We need this. Sending an archivist. With half the stuff. And geologist. All right, we're, we're in this. Just give it a minute. Uh, Murphy Gray asked if this will be season-based like Eternal Paradox. I'm going to put this one down and forward it as well. Uh, CryptoWave, once you get in, uh, you will be able to see your claim in your inventory under Other, right here. And then in order to claim it, you click on Celestial Objects, and then you visit the cluster. You gotta be in the galaxy, not the home base. Hang on. So, my Celestial Objects, visit the cluster, and here you would be able to pick out whatever suits you best. I personally like this one. This one looks cool. How are the ships doing? All right. This one's almost done, 11 minutes. Tiny, are you hopping into the game too? I am just watching you play. Come on, you gotta play. I'm actually playing EPX right now. <laughs> that, that, that's fair. Someone almost burnt down my base, so, you know, I'm just sitting here repairing it. Yeah, I gotta take care of that. Do you get hunted too? <laughs> I feel like I do. Because <laughs> I do get hunted, yes. <laughs> no matter where I go, someone will always find me. And it's as soon as like, I repair it to 100%, as soon as I close my game and open it again, it's back to nothing. So I'm like, I think I'm getting hunted. Yep. Dang, we're almost there. Yeah. I know, it's a good thing that The Walking Dead is not all the PvP, because I'd probably be hunted all the time, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 50 seconds to harvest, two minutes to harvest. Uh, let's see. Uh, you're welcome, CryptoWay. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. And NFT Chuck is asking Hunted. So because people know our names, they would, they would find us on the EPX map and then specifically teleport next to us and attack us as much as they can until there are no more resources they can gain. <clears throat> it's been an experience. It was fun at first. <laughs> but there are only so many shields I have. Oh, you even put up shields? I don't even put up a shield. <laughs> it depends. Uh, depends on what I'm doing. 
You Most of the time, my, my, my base is just warped somewhere else. All the time, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm here now. Now it's about sending the message. I'll let them see that I'm still here, but they can't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should have enough here in a bit. And I want to see more ships here. I wonder if I only see two of these. Let me see inventory. I have three capital ships. How come there's only two? You're missing one. Oh, you're right. Oh, I guess it only shows the best one of the type. That would make sense, right? Because this is the one that I wasted all my money on. There's something about these headdresses. Like, I don't know why, but they they look so cool to me. Oh, what did we just get? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we've done it. Oh, look at it. Did they grab it? I... Where did it go? I'm not sure why it's still at three. Oh, there are shields here. Up to 30 days. That's kind of nice. Here, let me go back to the galaxy and then return to the home base. See if that helps it. Yeah, there it is. So just those of you that just hopped on, we're playing Echoes of Empire. And you can play that at galagames.com, right? For, yeah, forward slash games. Link in the description. Don't do what Mark did yeah. here. Yeah, don't do what I did. Don't uh, send your ship on a 40-minute mission. <clears throat> because there will be a quest where you need to have all of your ships stationed at your home base in order to teleport. And now I'm just sitting around and waiting. <laughs> but also, I'm going to send more ships to do more stuff while we're waiting. Um, how much time do we have on here? Another five minutes and then like a minute to come back. Harvest. This. Select. It's a lot to do. Yeah, it's a forex game. I would still be going around the map looking at little celestials all over. Yeah, you're Not right. Where do you... Okay, Not where do you want to go? <laughs> uh, do you want to go to the Pale, Aurora's Edge, or Ember's Grace? Let's go down Ember's Grace. Okay. Here we have Thies, Zemplin, Leibach, Tolna. I don't think I can read that one. <laughs> Essek, Moravia. Let's um, go to the one you can't read. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Okay, which one of these? That one. That one? Volker and Chin. This one's red. Ooh, there's another blue one. It's a nice red color. And the blue one was over here. I 
here it is. This one belongs to Guild Factory 2. Good for you. You got a pretty one. And I think this, this shade of blue just goes very well with gold, which is why it looks so good. It really does. Here, let's go to this one because it's two words. Is that white? Look, look, look. Ooh, this one has a sun with it. Yeah, like a... Like icy planet. It's like a sun-moon thing going on. And they're like... Drawing energy from each other? Yeah. Oh, Paul said it's a star eating another star. I thought it'd be a little quicker than that. <laughs> um, whoever, whoever grabbed this one, I have bad news for you. Oh, nobody did. <laughs> Because I think I have an idea of what happens when two stars collide. This one's Another gold. One. Okay, what other colors are there? Okay, let's try Essex. Let's try this one. That one's also white. This one's orange. like a darker color how are my ships doing I right, got more ore oh it's finally done I think oh no it's not done it's still gathering never mind But that one's kind of unique, though, right? Uh, it was an Ember's Grace. That one was pink and black. Oh, I mean the one that had another star with it. Where did it go, yeah. man? I don't remember where we saw it. Right, bad news, neighbors. Mm, not it. Not it. It was somewhere here, right? here uh what region was it this one say that again paul okay oh yeah there it is okay this this one's my favorite i'm gonna keep an eye on it the coordinates are x at 0695 and y at 0095 Oh, see, you can pick them and you can claim them. Uh, Paul, can you buy me a legendary claim really quick? Thank you. Oh, you know, I had to ask. Paul, Paul is refusing. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to cooperate here, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is us. We're in Corsica. Another bluebie. But that one has to be the rarest. I've, I haven't seen a single one like that yet. I'm surprised nobody grabbed it. Maybe nobody saw it yet. Oh, yeah, there is another one. I found it. Does someone have it? Nope. You people are missing out. What's in the middle here? Nothing. The abyss. Yeah, too bad. Oh my god, it, uh, it was there for 40 minutes, but it gathered 16,000 vapor. All is forgiven. <laughs> All is forgiven. Come home. It was market. worth it. Worth it. Yeah, <laughs> worth it. Worth it. You're right. All right. We're about to jump.
Lovely. Okay, inventory, other, confirm. Rewards. Mm -hmm. Remember, good opportunities always come with risk. You must measure your strength against that of your neighbors and adjust your strategy accordingly. For now, the safest course of action is to use the peace shield you earn to protect your home base against attacks. Fair enough. Oh, got another peace shield. All right, now to time to collect all the goodies because we upgraded everything prematurely. Okay, good news to all my employees. We're not going bankrupt. We're we're back. We're so back. We're not washed. Okay, I can now afford an even more expensive ship. I don't know if I should do it, but I'll probably do it anyway. You know you're going to do it. It's a fancy ship. I just want to see how much we have in the end. Or extractor tier 4. Upgrade 30 minutes. All right, this is where this is where we're going to run out of of uh, credits, I think. It is what it is. Next up, Vapor Vault. Okay, let me see the ship. Here it is. I can definitely afford it. You can have nothing now? Oh, I still have money. I'm good. That, oh, that looks so cool the way it like builds. Yeah, it has ornaments on it. Does this one have ornaments? Oh, it does, but they're not as pronounced. Okay, time to send it and wait another forty minutes, and then get all the all the riches in the universe. We also should probably check out where we landed because it was random. Okay, so oh, I'm you here. Don't get to where you, you live? Uh, this teleporter was random here. Um, other? Oh, this one is targeted, but the one I had before was random. Let me see. You gotta go harvest some of the cool looking one. Can I claim it? No, I can't claim it. A cool looking one. Um, it was an Ember's Grace. I think it was this one. Nah, it was this one. This is where we're going. This is where we live now. Other targeted teleport. Click on an empty tile. Excuse me. There it is. Yes. Okay. All right, we're here. Ah, uh, we definitely need more of this stuff. Select. You're taking everyone with you. Everyone. Uh, we need vapor. 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 I wonder how they store vapor. More vapor.
All right, now this feels pretty good when you have enough ships to send them out to do stuff. That I like. Clear home base. Uh, I need more support ships. Clipper 3. Or hang on. Research. Geologist. Archivist. Specialist. Mm -hmm. So the support ships are just here and they're just chilling. Oh, I can make more. Alright, we're making 33 of each. I guess no point speeding them up because we don't have um, the term capital ships to send with them. Ah, uh, that's not true. I can still send them. Hang on. Galaxy. I think we just need for them to land or the station. And then we'll be able to send more harvest. Assigned fleet to harvest. Or maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I misread it. You need a capital ship together with it. Okay. Oh, I have a neighbor. Oh, God, it's a huge neighbor. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. This dude has ten planets. And Paul won't even buy me a single legendary one. I know y'all can't hear him, but he's not even defending himself. Okie dokie. That's upgrading. We don't need any more ships. Specialist geologist. Geologist 2. Okay. Um, how about... There it is. And uh, really quickly, for those of you who do not know, we do have a dedicated Discord. And uh, there is a big discussion <clears throat> revolving around the EOE, and we do have a dev answer questions. If you're interested, uh, the link is in the description. Now uh, navigate to the EOE discussion channel, and you can start chatting.
All right, how are my ships doing? Station, station. This one's harvesting. Okay. Surprise, surprise, I messed up again. We should have gone to a different quadrant. And then we would have been able to do the quest. Aurora's Edge. Is this Aurora's Edge? Of course it's not. We got not. distracted by the cool looking one. Yeah, but exactly. It was, it was too good looking. Oh, I can harvest all the way here. Okay. 810 vapor coming my way. And they're giving all these cool ships too. What is this? Ambassador. The fastest royal ship used for a variety of missions. Oh, and it has a really good mining rate. And insane storage capacity. Alright, hang on. Okay, I am now sitting down. How long do we have to wait until you get to do something? Let me see. Uh, we have about two minutes until I'm able to send out the ships to Aurora's Edge and harvest stuff. So I need Epic and a Legendary. Oh, this one's on the way back, so I'll be able to send this one straight up. This one is still harvesting. Okay, I see. Yeah, I'm getting a little hungry. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, I don't know yet. I'll figure that out once we're done here. What are you going to eat for dinner? I'm going to eat four. Oh, man, that sounds really good. I don't think there is a good pho place here. I can tell you how to make it. <laughs> it sounds like a lot of work and like going to the Asian supermarket and getting all the herbs and stuff. Yeah. But it's good for you. But... Where I am today, it's not cold. I'm really surprised for the end of January to be in the place. Really? How, what's the weather like? <clears throat> well, it was negative 40. <laughs> Celsius? Yes. And now it's plus 12 <clears throat> degrees Celsius. Hmm. Even where I'm at, it's not that warm. It's like plus three celsius yeah it's crazy to me that you know two weeks ago it was minus 40 and then all of a sudden it's almost spring we only had three weeks of winter this year uh, somebody's already here are they gonna kick my ass if i try to 
Only one way to find out. I think out. you might have to fight them to try and harvest. Only one way to find out. This is going to take two hours, but we're, we're doing this. Hang on. Where are my support ships? Oh, I never claimed them because I'm a clown. You know what I ate recently? And people are going to be so surprised. I what? ate gluten-free pizza from Costco and it was delicious. You ate free pizza from Costco? Gluten-free. Oh, yeah. It's actually super good. Oh, <clears throat> I, I get it periodically. It is pretty good. They got me when I was walking around Costco and they gave out the samples. There was one giving out normal pizza and i think that's how they got me they had a normal pizza and then they had the gluten-free pizza and the normal pizza tasted like what the gluten-free pizza should have tasted like oh, they just tricked you it was good have you tried their the keto pizza at costco not the keto one i don't think so keto stuff typically tastes like dirt but that one is actually really good. I don't remember what it was called, but they do have the one with pineapples on it. Mm. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Costco has really good stuff. Yeah, not, not, not sponsored, by the way. But if you're if you're offering Costco, we are we're here for you. OK, I think you can make a cool ship now if I can afford it. Come on. Okay. Is it? Oh, whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Hang it's on. Dog, <clears throat> All right, I'm back. Yeah, the dog was sleeping and then something happened outside and he's not happy about it. the mailman <laughs> yeah, probably where is my cool ship oh here it is the ambassador i can definitely not afford it ah oh, this one is so much better than the other one the mining rate is whoa twice as fast can you Looks afford like... it though i cannot i cannot i need more more composite we'll get there eventually one of my fleets is on the way i think it's gonna drop off more composite but not enough <clears throat> right here they're docking right now one second oh that was vapor come on guys Harvest. Okay. We completed the daily missions. It's 40 to rush it. I'm going to get 2,000, but that's still not going to be enough because I need like 14, I think. Yeah, I need 14.6. Oh, hey, PUBG. The game does look pretty cool. <clears throat> I don't know how long you've been here, but check this out. Hang on. I parked my home base by the coolest looking claim. Look. It's two stars colliding.
And if you're gonna come here to uh, claim it or do whatever, just please don't fight me. Okay, all my fleets are en route. Oh, I should have fought someone. That would have been fun. Oh, I probably can't fight with the shield on, though. Yeah, never mind. Hmm. Oh, there are more ships here. Look, th these are the support ships. They're tiny. Oh, I wish I could zoom in a little more. Cool. I wonder what the max level command center looks like. You gotta keep building to find out. Yeah, we'll need Paul to bankroll a little more credits. Okay, thank you, good Paul. Did it always have this spinning thing around it, Tiny? I think so. Man, I don't know which one I like more now. I didn't know this the first time. What can you harvest from this one? Everything many times over. Ooh, this one might have been a better one to be at. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the first shiny thing I saw, I grabbed, okay. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. <laughs> this one's pretty. I want to be white. Yep. Oh, so the Celestials can be fully decayed. And you can't harvest anything from them until they're renewed by the owner. That's interesting. Oh, look at this. It's like a comet. Oh, what is that? Can you zoom in more? It's like spitting things. Yeah. Ooh. Crimson Relic Ballad. Oh, that looks so cool! Oh, you can't, uh, you can't claim it. I'm guessing because it's like, um, uh, like a comet. Are there more of these that look different? Oh, there are. Look, this one's blue. Azure fragment sonata. Okay, let's find more. What is that? Oh, these are like asteroids. Sapphire Mirage. They're kind of... <laughs> they're they're kind of called like cars. 
<laughs> Sapphire Mirage, Azure, Azure Sonata, Cerulean Dripstone, Ashen Violet. What's ours called? Hang on. Twin Luminaries. Sapphire Conundrum. Man, who came up with these names? Celestial Dreamer. Auburn Serenity. Midnight Wanderer. Icy Waterlord. <laughs> Russet Tapestry. Tapestry? Yeah, that's the word. Is Russet a color? Tiny, do you know? Russet? Yeah. Um, let me find out we're here. Thank you. Yeah, Paul said that's a type of potato, and that's what I was thinking. But all of these are a color and the name. Viridian. It's an orange purple color. Is that the right color? Uh, let me find it. Russet is a subtle guess. color complicated by undertones of orange and purple. Hmm. Man, I kind of see it. Oh, what do these symbols mean? <laughs> this one has a very insulting name. It's called a brunette plainling. <laughs> Nothing special about it. It's just brown, you guys. Because <laughs> the other one is called like a water lord, and this one is just a plain plainling. Verde hazlet. Okay, let's go back home, see what's going on, and we're going to start wrapping it up here. More stuff. <clears throat> Still can't afford that ship. I'll just make a cheaper one, that's fine. Pog G yeah. asks, how do you claim? Uh, <clears throat> so in order to claim, you uh, click on the celestial objects uh, in the left menu here. But you do have to be in the galaxy. Give me one second. So yeah, you're in the galaxy. Then you click select seal objects. Then view cluster. And then you can pick out um, pick out the celestial you can claim depending on the rarity in this cluster or in whichever cluster your claim belongs to. Because this one is, well, I'll tell you what it is exactly here in a second. Just crack open the inventory. Uh, this one is Ember Ember's Gray Celestial Claim, so it has to be in the Amber Gray Squadron. But depending on which one you're holding, you <clears throat> will be located in a different one. Okay, here, let's go back home. Okay, okay. I just wanted to look at this ship one more time. Uh, let's claim it. Oh, oh! I didn't realize it actually moves and parks here. Look. Oh. Oh man, I'm all for this. That's so cool. Yep. But anyway, folks, this is EOE. <clears throat> Uh, make sure to join our Discord. There we will be able to answer, <clears throat> answer all of your questions and you get to interact with other players. Um, you can start organizing um, hunts and guilds and you can definitely find and hunt out Tiny once she places her home base. But other than that, yeah, I think we're done here for today. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow. Make sure to join our Discord and we'll be seeing you in the flip. 
got anything to say, Tiny? No, well, thanks for joining us today. All right. Thank you all. See ya. Bye.